Hey, Coach, um, staying along those lines then, what is your position? Obviously, uh, you know, there will be some things that are going to happen as this season gets underway, and I'm sure that kneeling during the national anthem uh, will be revisited, and that's something that I'm sure a lot of players will want to do. What is your position on that whole thing? And, you know, if they decide to do that, will you support that? Yeah, my position, uh, Mary Kay, is, is I, I want to – make sure I support our players. At, but first things first, I want to make sure I sit down with them and talk. And, and we've started the process in, in that dialogue. Um, but I can't speak necessarily to, to the future in that regard. I can just promise you this. We'll spend as much time as needed to uh, make sure that we're all on the same page and we are a united front um, from a player, staff, you name it. Uh, we want to make sure that we're constantly uh, – make uh, staying in, in the dialogue on these issues because it's not something that that's just going to go away we want to make sure that that we're constantly constantly looking at this in, in ways that we can do better um, so I really would love to to first sit down with with our uh, social justice committee sit down with our captain sit down with the leaders of this football team um, before we talk about things in the future uh, a couple of minutes ago you know you want to be unified as a team when it comes to um, these issues and, and standing together, you know, regarding kneeling, if you have players that come to you and say, we feel this way, is that something you want to do together as a team uh, when you say, uh, you know, be unified on this? Or uh, is, is that something you're going to leave up to players ultimately to decide, um, you know, in terms of getting in, in the arena and, and sending the message that they want to send? Yeah, that's a good question, Jake. And, and the honest answer is I don't know. I, I want to make sure that when we get together, we sit down. There's that's one of many issues that we need to talk about in this uh, movement, if you will. So that's something that I promise you we'll spend as much time uh, as necessary as an organization uh, listening to each other, uh, understanding each other, and then we'll make a, a decision um, together. And, and But I, I, I hesitate to say, Jake, because I want to make sure that I'm sitting with our guys uh, on, on things as, as, uh, like that. In talking to J.B. Bickerstaff, I understand you guys go back a couple of years now, and he said that you, you're trying to align something in terms of uh, working against social injustices and such. Uh, and you mentioned J.B., and, and we want to be a strong part of this community. We want to be a strong part of positive change. And I uh, realize that from my platform that I have here, I'm able to affect change. So something that Anquan Bolden said in a meeting uh, a couple days ago that we were in, you know, attach your name. And, and that's something that I take seriously. So while I, I'm attaching my name, I'm leading a football team, I want these guys to know the impact that they can have. What was your reaction, Coach, to the NFL acknowledging that, that it had not done enough, that it had not listened to its players the, maybe the way it should have? Yeah, you know, Tom, I'm just I'm, – I'm so uh, keen – on dialogue with our players and and listening and my big note to our players is that I got their back and that's not just lip service I'm standing right there uh, beside them they have my support and I promise you one thing we'll just continue to listen to each other from from a a, a place of uh, mutual respect uh, the the players coalition released the list today of the 1100 names of players and coaches uh, your name is on that list along with a number of your players. Just wondering your thought process behind that uh, on the um, Ending Qualifying Immunity Act and, and just how that came to be, how, many, how, how so many different Browns players got to be on that list. Yeah, you know, credit to the Players Coalition, which is doing some amazing work in terms of educating our players and giving them resources. And, and that was something that they brought uh, to our attention, I guess, last week. And, uh, you know, I did my homework, I, I did my research, and again, I go back to attach your name. And, and that's part of this is, is, is knowing that we have to do better, knowing that there are, you know, I would say most of us realize that there have to be reforms of some sort. And I just felt like this was something that was an important uh, support uh, moving forward. One of the things JB said yesterday was we all react and we're up in arms when this happens because it's an immediate cycle that kind of goes away. Do you almost feel like this conversation has to continue into the fall when you actually do take the field? Yeah, I think 
you know, my message to our players right away, and, and we've we've spent every meeting uh, addressing this. We're gonna. I got a team meeting here at one o'clock. We're gonna continue to talk about it. We've been in brought in some uh, guest speakers to talk about it. So it's it's not one Zoom meeting is not going to solve this in any way, shape, or form. But I think uh, unified action over the course of time can make a positive impact. So uh, JB, myself, this organization, we are so, trying so hard to give our players resources to, to I mentioned get in the arena, to get in the arena and act. 